Right, what's happening guys? So we're just on our way to Rip Gym in Basildon. We've got me, my, sorry, me, myself Wait, and I. <laughs> me and Matt, who okay, will be training good. together. We've got Bobby filming. So today we're gonna be running through a hard leg session, right? But the first exercise, we're gonna be hitting a top set of back squats. So I'm gonna be attempting 200, key, 200 kilograms for as many reps as possible. So I'll be happy with 15, but 20 is the goal, right? Now, the reason we're doing this is just to see where we're at at the moment, because we're coming towards the end of a cutting phase. So calories are low, energy's low, We've actually got a shoot in two weeks. Yeah, on the uh, 9th of October, right? Yeah, just under two weeks. Just under two weeks. So you shouldn't really be attempting this stuff while in a deficit while getting ready for a shoot, but we do things different around here. And part of my training is getting stronger, getting bigger, whether we're cutting or bulking. So this is going to be a series, it's going to be a YouTube series, and we're going to be calling it a road to 220 kilos or 500 pounds for 20 reps probably be attempting it sometime around springtime so it gives us a good six to seven months to build up to it so today we're just seeing where we're at at the moment after the top set of back squats we're going to be running through a load of machines so we'll be hitting some front squats some pendulum squats pack squats leg press extensions some good core work as well uh, and then we're going to finish up in the posing room see how Matt's looking um, he's currently down from what 90 to about 90 and a half down to about Nearly 10 kilos. Pre-shoot, he will be 10 kilos down, and then we'll refeed him up. Yeah, he's looking, looking the best he's looked, and he's gained strength during this cutting phase as well. This series is not just about me getting up to 500 pounds for 20 squat. Throughout the series, you're going to be learning how to build a good set of legs in a gym because I see a lot of guys 17 upwards that are just struggling to build a good set of wheels. They've got good chest, good shoulders, good back, good arm development and I always get people say to me, Luke, I can't build my legs, I can't build my legs. And I'm just gonna run through some of the mistakes that I've seen in the past five, six years that I've been personal training. I've been personal trainer in many gyms, about five gyms across Essex, and I always see the same issues. So on this series, you're gonna learn how to build a good set of wheels, a good strong foundation. I'm a lion, I'm a hunter, eyes on a prey. I'm the shadow, I'm the night, and I'm the day. So you resorted to doing your pre-workouts in the street? Yeah, we got kicked out of the gym before we've even started our session. So pre-workout of choice, mesomal. Don't do two scoops because you'll probably get arrested. Strong, right? Definitely do something to yeah, it's it's got something illegal in it because they import it in from the US. So if it's not sold in the UK, then there's something dodgy going on. But nonetheless, it gets me through my sets. Sometimes I'm not going to lie, I feel a bit sick in between sets because it is so strong. But once you start your set, you're you're just moving weight. It's, it's quality. Sometimes we mix it with a pump formula, don't we? Yeah. Uh, Which, Nova, pump. Nova Pump. Neuro Nova Pump. What brand is that, Kieran? The Nova Pump. Yeah, I think it's Nova Farm, Nova Pump. It's the brand that sells MV Pre, which I would probably put one step underneath the Mesomorph. So somebody asked me the other day, what would your top three pre's to be? Well, pre's, top three go-to pre-workouts. Three, I'd say ABE, Total War, which has got a lot of beta alanine in it, so you're, you're peeling, your body's just itching, which can be nice, sometimes it's too much. The second best is MV Pre, and number one is Mesomorph. So we're gonna get this down us, get warm, and then we go for this top set. nothing in the tank this is going to be everything i've got even if i fail on the rack i just want to know where i'm at at the end of this cut on the amount of calories i'm on so when i try it again in six months you have a good comparison let's go
goes, back squat, higher bar, knee sleeves. That's all gonna stay the same for the next time I do it. The reason behind this series, as I said earlier, is to get the five plates for 20. It's to teach you guys and girls how to build the best set of legs possible. People shy away from the back squat when they want to build legs. Oh, I do leg extensions. I half rep the leg press for half hour. But my legs still don't look good. For me, the back squat has built everything in my lower body. Legs, glutes, a little bit of hamstring. You have to get back squatted if you want good wheels. session so that's how I would generally structure one of my leg days if I had two leg days a week generally I'd have a quad dominant day and then a ham and glute dominant day where we would probably start with deadlifts but today we did the quad dominant so we started with the back squats went into some more compounds so leg press pendulum squat and then into the isolation at the end one of the biggest mistakes I can see from a novice or somebody new to the gym they put too much time and effort into the isolation movements. How I see it, what I would like you to do is use the isolation movements to get the mind-muscle connection and then integrate that into the compounds because they're your bread and butter. If you put 60 kilos on your back squat, so say you're back squatting 60 kilos for 12 reps. If in six months you squat 120 kilos, for the same amount of reps, so for 12, your legs have no choice but to grow. So that is how to ensure growth out of your leg sessions. Get stronger on your bigger movements, always in every rep range, but let's just stick with the eight to 12 today. Aim to put kilos on each month, even over the years, it's a long game. You don't expect to grow a lot of muscle in one month training. How I look at it, back in 2017, 2017 or 2016? I think 2016, sorry, 2017, I hit my first ever 200 kilo back squat for one rep. I've now turned my one rep max into my 15 rep max. My legs are so much bigger than they were back in 2017. Now there's loads of ways to go about getting from one rep to 15, and obviously it's taken me three years, but that is the long-term goal. That's how I've always looked at it. Even if we were benching, my one rep max in 2017 would have been 100 kilos. I can now do that for 15 reps, which means I can get a heavier weight for slightly less. And that's how to ensure growth out of any muscle during your sessions. So I hope you enjoyed that YouTube video. I hope you enjoyed watching the leg session. It was a proper intense session. Unfortunately, now we don't go get to have a cheat meal. We're still cutting. So it's back to turkey, bacon and broccoli tonight. So lots of cheat meals will be coming soon because we can eat especially after a leg session like that. Nando's ain't gonna know what's hitting when I clear them out, all right? So I'll speak to you guys soon and um, comment, subscribe, let me know what kind of content you wanna see and then we'll go from there. If you're walking out of a leg session and you're feeling all right, you ain't doing it right. <laughs> you need that's, to that's, be- That's why no one likes training legs. Yeah, <laughs> exactly right. Mate, don't even, don't even bother talking to me if you skip legs, right? That is not on, as a girl or a boy. My, my calves are actually shaking from walking out of there as well. So that's when you know you've done it right. If you're walking out of that, if you're walking out that door and you look like your missus after two rounds, you've done it right. <laughs>